Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing my top fives. So I'm going to start with my top five songs, then I'm going to do my top five albums, my top five TV shows, my top five films, my top five YouTubers, and finally my top five bands or artists, or just musical people in general. Um, when it comes to the YouTubers, I will put a link to any YouTuber mentions uh, channel in the description. And for some of the songs, if there's a music video to them that I also like, I will leave a link to that as well. So let's get started. So my top five songs. So at number five, we have Imaginary by Evanescence. Um, I just really like the song. I think it's pretty so pretty. Uh, number four, uh, this is a bit more nerdy. I have The Reigns of Castamere from the TV series Game of Thrones. Um, at number three, I have This House by Beth and Mary Ledley. I will leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description as well. Uh, I didn't need to say that because I'm going to be doing it because of the YouTube section. Anyway, at number two, I have Ironic by Alanis Morissette. And at number one, I have Perfect by Emma Black. So my top, moving on to our top five albums. My fifth, number five, we have, <coughs> sorry, just had dinner, so I've got a bit of a sore throat. <coughs> I've got Once More With Feeling, and that was done by the Buffy the Vampire Slayer cast for the musical episode, Once More With Feeling. Uh, second, I have got the second difficult album by Chris Moyles. This is a parody album. It's quite funny. You should go and look for it. Number three is Evanescence's self-titled album, Evanescence. Number two is New Kind of New by Beth and Ledley. And at number one, we have The Perfect EP by Emma Black. Again, go and check those, those out if you, if you like. Top five TV shows. So at number five, uh, I'd just like to clarify, some of these are discontinued uh, or finished or whatever if you want to say so. At number five, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, because I like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Well, I don't really need more of a reason than that. At number four, I have Charmed. Uh, I do like Charmed. You can't see it, but just to my right, I have got everything Charmed. All, all of the series. They're, I love them. They're great. At number three, I've got Torchwood. Uh, you can't see that, but I've got that in front of me, as well as having it on my computer as well. Uh, in number two joint number two i've got agents of shield and game of thrones uh, this is marvel's agents of shield by the way and in number one i've got my personal always favorite doctor who so my top five top five films number five camera's there number five we have got the avengers assembled uh, i know this came out a while ago uh, but i still like it it's very funny uh, number four uh, this one's going back a little bit further. This is School of Rock, starring Jack Black. Um, any of you younger people out there that have ever watched iCarly, the Carly is played by an actress called Miranda Cosgrove, and she was in School of Rock when she was still a wee little child. She was still a wee little child, don't you know? I grew up watching her. Drake and Josh. That was hilarious. Uh, at number three, I've got Will Smith in iRobot. Uh, because I think it's a great film. It, the first time I saw it, it blew my brains out. Like, oh my god, that was so cool. Um, the number two, I have got the very sad Bridge to Terabithia. If you haven't seen the Bridge to Terabithia, watch it. I warn you, it is sad. Um, but it is definitely worth watching. It's uh, very good if you're very imaginative, and if you like fantasy. Um, but it's also got quite a dark, really sad side. And number one in the films list is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Because it's an awesome, awesome film. And more people should watch it, to be honest. So my top five YouTubers. Now, before I start this, as I said at the beginning, I will put a link to all YouTubers mentioned in the description. Because I'm a nice guy like that. And be sure to go and check them out and subscribe to them if you aren't already. But you probably are because they're all pretty epic, let's be honest. So at number five, I've got the wonderful and, quite frankly, crazy Cherry Wallace. Um, I can't remember when I started watching Cherry Wallace, uh, but it was a while ago. <coughs> um, 
number four. This is joint number four, and this kind of has three channels, so I'll put a link to all three, but it's actually two individual people. So first is Dean Dobbs, and then it is Jack Howard, and I'm including their, uh, their channel, OMFG, it's Jack and Dean. Uh, number three is Hazel Hayes, or Chewing Sam, as her YouTube name is. Joint second, we have the very musical and insane musical Bethan. And joint with her, we have the insane Thomas Tonka Ridwell. Or Tonska, as most people know him. Um, if you don't know him, uh, you might have heard of him. He created the a ASDF movies. Uh, and he hates it being called ASDF. It's actually Astor. The Astor movies. Sorry, have it. People at school did it. And he also has that's that's his name. That's his like branding icon. You should go check him out. He's cool. Um, and then in number one, who is the YouTuber I have been watching for the longest, believe it or not, is Emma Blackery. And I've been watching her since Ask Emma One. In fact, slightly before that, actually. Wow. I have no life. Fun. So, there are also other YouTubers that I would want to put in, but they didn't quite make it. Um, I guess you could say joint with number three, Chewing Sands, I would probably put Luke is Not Sexy. Um, I've just thought of that now. I watch Luke is Not Sexy quite a lot. Right, so... The last one I'm going to do is my top five bands or artists. Okay. Some of these bands have broken up. They're not together anymore, they're not a band anymore, but I still like them. So, in number five, we have My Chemical Romance. Number four, we have Black Bell Drive. And at number three, we have Evanescence. In number two, we have Beth and Ledley. In case you haven't noticed, I like Beth and Ledley. Um, in fact, I have actually got a physical copy of her latest EP, uh, New Kind of New, which was mentioned in, as one of my favourite albums, and you should go and check it out. Um, and last, definitely not least, in first position for my top five bands and artists, is the completely and utterly insane and yet extremely hilarious and very talented Emma Blackery. So that is all for today's video. I will put links to, as I said earlier, all of the YouTubers that I've mentioned names will be in the description, links to their channels. Um, I will also put a link in to the video, to Emma Blackery's latest music video, and to Music Bethan's latest music video. I will put links to both of those in the description. Go and check the those YouTubers out. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video, and check out my other videos, and just in gen generally have a, a good week um and you all i usually make videos on a thursday and sunday but on thursday i was unable to make a video so i made one on friday i'm making one today and i will be making one tomorrow as well so come back again tomorrow for some more randomness that will actually be a scheduled video so it will be slightly less off the bat than this one and i hope you enjoyed watching the video be sure to come back tomorrow i guess and uh see you later